Good morning, T.I. Yeah. I woke up this morning and went back to sleep. I woke up too early. God, I've been having good hair days. <laughs> you know why? It's because usually my hair looks all greasy and shit because I put too much leave-in conditioner in it. But lately, but lately I've been doing that. This shit's expensive. Lately I've just been brushing it when I get out of the shower and stuff so that it won't curl up because I got wavy hair. But, um, well, it's not wavy if I brush it when I get out of the shower. But I wanted to... See, I got my coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. But I don't like coffee. That tastes like coffee. I just barely started drinking it at 45 years old. My first time to Starbucks. Yeah. <clears throat> but, um... I wanted to tell you... I wanted to talk about depression. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys got depression... You know, I kind of find found my, my niche. I used to have really bad depression. Um, and bad anxiety. But depression, when you're sitting alone in a single little apartment, a box, and this is pre-accident, and you're listening to music, and music connects to memories, and you're all alone, it really screws you up, you know, so, <clears throat> I would get deep in a hole, and I wouldn't brush my hair, the only thing I do is wash my personals, you know, my armpits and my goodie snacks, but I wouldn't brush my hair for months, I wouldn't change my clothes for months, the only thing i change is my panties, and I'd walk around here, you know, mostly sleeping and eating and sleeping and eating. And when I did have to go to the store and stuff, I'd walk around and people would see me. And the only reason I'm not overweight right now the way I eat, because you know your body. You know your body and me. I've always, not always, but... You know, I tend to know what makes me fat. Live, I used to live off of tortillas and bread, you know, and always making potatoes because, you know, I don't have much money. I didn't have much money. Now I have none, no income. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I listened to, well, I got the song Daddy by Corn. You know, it's tattooed on me. You know, I never really listened to that music, but... You know, a lot of it was about, like, molestation and stuff. But um, I got the tattoo, Daddy, the song by Korn, tattooed on me. And I've been a cutter off and on since I've been 12. But back then, it wasn't a public thing. I don't know how I discovered that. It made me feel better. But it wasn't a public thing until the emos came out. And, you know, somebody who cuts, they're not suicidal, you know. They're not, see, I'll see if you could, I don't know if you could see it. Those are cuts and burns. But I haven't done it for years. I did it once when I was with my honey pot, my honey poop. And she found blood all over and kind of freaked out, but she cleaned it. And that surprised me. But, um, yeah, back in my days, you know, so I always kept, you know, Pendleton's on or whatever, over whatever I was wearing. <coughs> you know, I stopped heroin in 1988. So some people that were related to me, you know, thought I was still doing it. But it was the cuts. And back then... When you, you know, back back then, um, they didn't, well, now, let me see. Now, you know, they took the chemicals out of Aquanet. I can no longer put my hair in M's. 
and straight feathers. Um, they took the chemicals at a black flag. You know, they took the chemicals out of um, Easy Off. What I used to do when I was young, when I cut myself so nobody found out, I'd spray my arms with Easy Off. And it would make a burn. You know, it would burn. I'd wipe it off when it was, like, really burning. But when the burn went away, there was no scars. You get what I'm saying? But they took the chemicals out. And so now I have scars and burns um, from after they took the chemicals out. But I've kind of found my niche. I found my niche. I think that's what you call it. Um, for depression. I rarely listen to regular music when I'm at, in my little box, my apartment. I rarely listen to regular music. I started listening to silly music, you know, hello, you know, fuckery, um, <clears throat> his name is Rekka Rekka Ali, okay, you know, he makes parodies, different, on serious things, you know, so I learned to laugh about serious things, he makes it on all races, he's not racist, he makes it on all races, you know, um, so I kind of learned to laugh at serious things because you know when I was growing up I didn't smile I didn't laugh <coughs> I didn't joke around and talk like I do now you know kids having kids well when I got out and started raising my son you know he taught me a lot because I learned to be silly and goofy but Back to the depression. You know, I started listening to Rucka Rucka Ollie. You know, he sings parodies. And, you know, some of them are filled with a little bit of truth, a little bit of ridiculism, and stereotypes. Well, there's no problem with it. You know, if you're not racist, you know, and you got friends of a variety or homeboys of a variety, you know, in my hood, you know, my hood is one of the only Mexican gangs around there that have all races, you know, but so if you're not, if you don't have that prejudice in you, you don't think that way, you know what I mean? You can laugh at yourself and you can laugh at others. <laughs> You know, you can joke with your people of variety races about your race and about theirs. And you don't worry. You know, all this PC bullshit and everybody getting offended. And there is a lot of racism. Especially here in Pedro. I mean, I've had... I've been with my daughter going through the projects. And, you know, she had her friends behind her and they were black. And they let us in and pointed a gun at them and made them turn around and go home. But this was years ago. But I found my, my niche, my niche for depression. And since the accident, you know, even though I lost a lot, I can't dance my spine, you know, there's, you know, I, I remember I'm disabled every minute of the day, you know, from bending to wiping my butt, you know, I can't even wipe my butt the normal way no more, you know, to shaving my crotch, you know, everything, everything from the time I wake up in the morning, you know, some days are better than others. And some days it's just the pain from all the radiation, you get me? But I haven't had a bad, bad depression, you know, because I try not to listen to regular music around here. I listen to either truth music, you know, my anonymous music, you know, by other anons and truth seekers and targeted individuals. Or I listen to Rucka and 
let my problems go away, filling my head with ridiculism, a little bit of truth, a little bit of stereotype or feminism, or jokes on feminism, whatever. And, um, yeah, I'm not flooded with all these memories and stuff. And when I do that, you know, the Anna music or music from TIs, you know, it inspires me, makes me feel better. Or if I put Rucka Rucka Ali in my ear, it just, <laughs> everything just comes out of my head because some of it is like so funny and ridiculous and um, some truth, jokes. It's funny. But yeah, it's helped a lot with my depression. If I get depressed, I don't, I, I haven't, um, you know, and I'm surprised I haven't went through a large depression since the accident, knowing I'll never be the same. But, um, like I said, God changed my heart and he was preparing me for this. Yeah, so that's my niche. That's my niche. I the headphones in the ear <laughs> and in my mind I just let all my problems go for the meantime and just laugh laugh or listen to my aunt on music and just inspires me it just makes me feel a lot better you get me and I haven't got for a few years Like I said, since the accident is when they started going hard. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I had to use Rucka Rucka Ollie this morning. I, um, <clears throat> my whole apartment, I woke up and it felt so heavy. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it was like I was like grounded to the ground, you know everything it I don't know how to explain it but um like my legs were so heavy like they wanted to stay to the floor and <laughs> I went through the apartment the apartment building the whole apartment buildings like that never really happens it's just usually in my apartment but um yeah and somebody moved in across the alley not too long ago and asked me, is it just me? Or do I feel a lot of crap coming from that building? And I said, no, it's not you. So, peace out, targets. I found my laughter this morning. <laughs>